as you can see in the description box, it is officially my favorite time and month of the year. It is officially October 1st, so I wanted to bring you a special video today. I hope you liked my introduction and it was spooky for you. Um, I'm going to do my September wrap up and my October TBR and some of my favorite um, things that I love for October and my October must have. So, last month was a good weeding month for me. I didn't go too crazy because the month of October for my photography business is jam-packed. I just spent six hours on my computer straight. So if I seem a little bit tired, that's why. Um, I actually have a photo session tomorrow and that kicks off my photography portraits. So if I'm MIA this um, for the month of October, bear with me. So um, last month I said was really good. I read uh, Monsters and Madness by Jessica Verde who the book was sent to me from an ebook from Edelweiss, so thank you Edelweiss for sending that book to me. I loved it. It was historical fiction, takes place in the 1800s. It was creepy, it made me think. I loved it, it was a perfect book for me to get into the transition of off my summer books into my scary October books. So um, I will be doing a full review on that book soon. And yeah, so here's the picture. And I loved that book. It did take me a little bit, a little long to read just because I was so busy. So yeah, and the second book I read, I actually just joined a book club uh, a couple weeks ago and we read Fifty Shades of Grey. So I just finished that book today and I've read that book five times already but reading it um, now felt like I was reading it for the first time so I read Fifty Shades of Grey, finished that and we're going to take um, a break right now from Marie's Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Free until next year so I'm happy because I'm not in the mood to read a contemporary erotic BTS book right now, I'm in the mood to read creepy books. So, I read A Monsters and Madness with Jessica Verdi and Fifty Shades of Grey in the month of September. So those were two good books. I've been in a reading rut lately where I haven't been able to sit down. I guess it's because I've been anticipating the scary, spooky Halloween book genres and I just couldn't get into Fifty Shades of Grey. So, yeah. So that's my September wrap up and ready for my October TBR. I am setting myself up for a lot of books. All the books I want to read this month. So, of course, the book I am mostly, books I'm mostly anticipating, I'm going to finish this book, read this book. Once I finish making dinner and finish work, I have a friend coming over. We're going to watch um, Hocus Pocus is our tradition. We always watch that movie the 1st of October. So. I'm so excited to get to watch my favorite movie, and I even have my pumpkin shirt on, as you can see. Um, you're going to learn I'm completely obsessed when it comes to Halloween, so you're going to have to get used to it. The first book I'm going to read, which I'm going to start tonight, is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve de Colt. I have had this book on my shelf for a freaking year, and I'm so excited to read it. It looks like it's going to be the perfect book to get me into October. And yeah, it's really short, so I'll finish this in no problem. I'll finish this in like two, three days. So, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, but every time the cult, it's going to be the number one book I'm going to read. And number two, I'm going to read Between the Spark and the Burn by Every Dream of the Cult. Um, this to me seems like a winter Christmas book, but I hope I'm not, that's not true because I don't want it to mess up my scary book rut that I've picked that I'm in. So I'm going to read this one second. And if those two books hopefully don't take up the rest of the month for me, I'm going to read Another Little Piece by Kate Carpus Quinn. I've heard my friend just finished this and it's a cannibal book. So that's creepy. <laughs> Cannibals during the uh, Halloween in October. So Another Little Piece by Kate Carpus Quinn. A desperate girl of desperate choice. So it seems like it's going to be really creepy good book. This is a lot bigger, so we'll see how long this takes me to read. And 
these next two books are not really novels. They are I Collect Ghost Books, um, books on haunted places wherever I travel. And I started to read this one today. It's Haunted Fort Lauderdale by John Marcar. I read one story in this already today, and it's good. It's creepy. Florida is my home state where I live, so Haunted Fort Lauderdale, yes, number one. And this other one, I've had this book for 10 years, and I never finished it, but um, oh, I've been on this ghost tour, so I know most of the places. It's really cool when you get to read about a haunted hike, a haunted ghost tour when you've been to the places, and I've read this one too. It's Haunted Stories, True Ghost Stories of Lap. Newfoundland Labrador by Dale Jarvis, and I don't think, yeah, no, this one, I had the second one that's um, signed by him. Um, this is ghost stories of Newfoundland and Labrador where my cousins live, and a couple of these stories are really creepy, so I want to read these two just to have something that's not really a novel, but is still scary, so. Um, so far, that's five books. <laughs> Um, I doubt I'm going to read five books during this month just because I'm going to be so freaking busy with all my work. I have my wine work, my photography that's going to take up the most of the month. I have events and all that stuff. So yeah. And I'm going to go into some of my October must-haves, the things that I cannot survive without during this month. And the first one is Psych, the Psych, Psych Oween Collection. It includes four spectacular episodes. This is my favorite show ever. And it has Sean and Gus the Dead, Tuesday the 17th. This episode sucks, and here's last week. Um, this is great if you want to put this in. I put it in when I'm cleaning my apartment, and I just want something that runs all the way through all the scary episodes. So I love this. Gotta have candles, gotta have fall candles. Unfortunately, Bath and Body Works doesn't make my favorite October candle anymore, Fireside. So, this is it. Um, pumpkin apple. Oh, this just smells like apple cider. Makes my place smell so good, so folly, and I love Bath and Body Works candles, like, love, obsessed with them. So, yeah, pumpkin apple. Any Bath and Body Works fall candle. I'm having a Halloween party on the 18th, and I have eight Bath and Body Works candles to make my place smell amazing, and yeah. Another thing is decorations. If you don't know me, I am a very well-known wine blogger, and I always do never have a shortage of wine bottles in my apartment, and this is one of my favorites. It is actually a Yellowtail Chardonnay <laughs> bottle, and you can get these um, little vintage sticker thingies at Party City. What I do is I just take like a key or to make it look like a little bit more creepy. So I always have these, I distress them, and I have them all over my apartment. And it's my favorite decoration. It's cheap, I get the wine for free, and just these are like four bucks, so decorations. October TBR, if you want, I know in the beginning of you, you saw a little tour of my bookshelf. I have put cobwebs, I put little bugs, I have candles inside. So if you want, um, a tour of my living room, kitchen, and bathroom which I have decorated for Halloween. Let me know in the comments below and I will gladly do it. My boyfriend will film me while I give you a tour of my spooky apartment. And yeah, I do have big news though. During, um, in the middle of this month, I am going to be doing a trip to Transylvania. One of my, my best friend, Julia, lives in Transylvania and she's gonna I'm gonna go up there for a couple days and I'm gonna bring you with me so that's gonna be cool that's gonna be spooky I'm going to Vlad's castle and yeah so I'll bring you with me and I hope to see you later bye